Hi. Well, my name is Ashley Pfeiffer, and right now I'm going to be talking with Dr. Preston. He's going to, my sophomore and senior English teacher. He's going to be talking to me about teaching, uh, my credentials, what I've done when I've worked with the class, um, some ideas, some tips, some critiques, also some good mentoring. Uh, I took a video earlier. It got a little cut off, so we're going to do the second part of it. We're going to continue live, and he's about to come back, but he's just talking to another student right now. So we're going to hold on, and I'm just going to keep it going, and I'll cut out what I need to. All right, sounds good. That is where he will sit. You want to bring up mine? Um, yeah, do you want to teach them real quick how to follow the blog? Yeah, of course. Okay, so let's go ahead and this get This way, to every, anytime I post to the blog, you'll get an email to your uh -huh. email account so you don't have to go back and constantly check over and over. I'm going to use yours. And the other thing is, did you find the uh, the introductory post, the syllabus? It's the very first post on the blog. That's where the summer reading is at. No, I haven't. One. Okay. Hi. Yeah. So you want me to teach him how to set it up? Yeah, or? actually, this is Mary and Mary's home. Hi, Michael oh. and Maria. Maria. Oh, Maria, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, fellas. Sorry, hold on, give me what a second. Miss? <laughs> she wasn't here all lunch, sorry. She was. Yeah. You will definitely learn patience in this class with technology because it is the slowest thing in this classroom. I uh, will. I got good news though, they're running a cable to this room. Oh, that's right, so they are this year. So in this room we're not going to have to deal with the content level, which is going to get all over the campus soon mm -hmm. enough. Yeah, mine's taking a very long time. Right, I'll show you. So yeah, you have to show them how to, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to videotape you while you do this though. So Wait. here is... This may not work any faster than that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. we, have to, we have to share a little spell and do our little potion. Do our little rain dance. Yeah, yeah. and a lot of what we deal with when we deal with technology isn't just learning how the technology works. It's you guys ever sit down in front of your computer and then like twenty minutes later you're like, what am I, what am I supposed to do? Yeah. <laughs> Something gets your attention and yeah. you're excited. So one of the things I teach about is mindfulness, how to maintain your focus and your concentration even when there's exciting things to look at. So we're gonna start the course with your big question. Here's the other thing. When we used to teach, it was one teacher with one textbook and then everybody listening, right? You're familiar with that model. But well, now, we don't have to do it that way because when I show you all the different blogs, for example, if you look at the current seniors this year, this is the article I just did. If I click on any one of these names, you can see all the things that they're doing and thinking about. So there's no reason for me to say everyone has to do the same thing at the same time. We all think, like right now, you're thinking about what you did yesterday and the job, maybe we're going to have to look at the period and I'll write your pass and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. So in the process, um, everybody can do their own thing, even while we're all reading Hamlet. You may think a totally different thought than you thinking while we're reading Hamlet. Well, now you can go put it on your blogs and we get to see how you think and how you feel about the course. Um, that leads to outcomes like, well, you can see this paragraph. <laughs> see how you yeah. describe the course? That's pretty deep to you know, walk into a high school classroom and get out of I'm not proud of that. Or when a kid puts up. What else do you So you know that a lot of people know that guy, right? He's kind of under the radar, he's kind of quiet. Well, in my class, he put together one of the all time best videos I've seen, and he lays out the entire literature curriculum in four and a half minutes. I can skip to any part of this. Actually speaks out of the words. Watch the couple minutes. But anyways, this is what I learned this semester. Two thousand thirteen, my final year in high school. 
First day I didn't know, someone felt a mention that standards were understanding American literature. I didn't know this method could improve my knowledge and use of words. But now I know. First semester was a total failure, a true disaster. I didn't understand that lecture. I barely passed the class semester. End of session, second semester was around the corner with a new teacher. I was hoping this was better than the one before. Honestly, I used to believe literature literally was bullshit of American culture. But the instructor, the leader, he was no failure. His lecture in my mind painted a new picture, opened a new door. Now I see a whole different world. At first, I was insecure. I read the new scripture, and if I became crystal clear, pure, I see the texture, I capture that feature, the mixture, I figure the procedure. You go through all the genres, from colonialism to postmodernism and everything in between. Now, if I was to tell you about that, you would say, okay, sounds like a nice teacher. I've heard teachers before. But when you hear it from your peers, and you go, whoa, that's on the real. Okay, there's no substitute for that. Now, when you look at this blog, you can already see that we've got members, and these are your classmates. These are already the people who created their blogs for next year. Now, guess what? You have access to this. Everybody gets to see everybody else's. So where you used to turn in a piece of paper and then put it away and crumple it in your backpack, now you have an entire community who's there for you who can say, you know, Maria, it looks like you really got this. But how did you do that? I want to learn from you. And Marisol, they can say to you, hey, um, I struggle with that part too, but you know what helped me get it? And like literally last year, we were memorizing Hamlet's to be or not to be a speech. You heard about that? Yeah. And a couple of kids had problems. Well, I didn't even know about it because they were on the blogs and a few other students already helped them. So by the time they came to class, they were successful. Having a community around you, you know, we teach you to do your own work, put your own paper, use your own words. Well, then you go into the workplace and what do they tell you? Why can't you be a better team member? Because I never learned. <laughs> well, so now you have the chance. Um, when you follow the, the blog, all you got to do literally is go here, join this site, Hi. put your email address in here. It's that simple. And everything that we do, it sounds like oh, technology for some people. You, know, you go on, you click a couple things. Oh, that didn't work. It'll work this way. Fine. Boom, you're in. If you have questions, talk to your friends and talk to me. Um, did you get my email? No. For more orientation? Okay. So, oh, that's right, because you guys were in the cafeteria the yeah. whole time and came at the end. So, before you leave, I'll walk you over to the board and give you my email address. But right now, let me show you. So, you can see there's already a bunch of posts on here. And I think, let's see, it looks like there's about 20 posts. So please take a look through. Um, I'm not going to make each one an assignment. I'm not going to test you on it. But the first one is probably the most important. This is where you're going to find the summer reading. Okay. Okay. And and so when you go through here, this is where you're going to find the summer reading. Right there. And it's a lot. It's not easy reading, and that's the whole point. And there are a lot of things that I'm not going to expect you to be expert on the first time around. So when you look at that, you go, <laughs> yes, I'm going to give you an essay exam the first week. But part of the value is who's going to show up? Can you know? Do you want? Because if you do, you're going to be fine. And you have me as a resource. So when I walk you over and give you my email, that means all summer long. That means even after you're out of the course. Now we're like family. That's how I teach. So that all sounds good. I'm looking forward to this, and I think you're going to be fine. You didn't miss anything serious. I basically took a half an hour at lunch to have my students talk to you guys. I also showed, I don't know if you saw it, um, but there was a video in the preview of Coming Attractions. And in this part, I showed this video, and you can see it on your own command. You got the blog. So the key is, do you have this address? Yeah, of course, blog. Okay. So let me come over and I'll give you my email. All right. And then what I suggest is that you talk to some of the people who were there because inevitably they will take away different things from what you're doing like that. Yeah. And it's always better for you to hear it. You go to college, you're not going to go to the professor and say, hey, I'm back. You're not going to learn.
So, the question about what the engineer is like, is talking to the other And then, that question, we're going to make sure that 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 we're going to make yeah. I totally forgot what my senior photo was. Are you going to the same class or different one? No, I'm going to the same Okay. That's for you. Well, thanks for coming by. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. There you thank go. You. Nice meeting you. Okay. All right. Now I'm hustle because I'm going to Still going. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, now I do have to hustle because I do have to get out of here. Well, I got you teaching at the best. So, in other Okay, class. so where I left off was in, like any performance, the mm -hmm. first time you get up, you're nervous and you speak quickly. Yes. And you do. I did, right. And, and that, you know, I really don't have any strong criticism because you did a wonderful job. You had a good discussion with the students and they got a lot out of it. That's what teaching is. And somewhere over here, I've got a. They're right there, yeah. yeah. So I'll just read this out loud. Teaching is the only occupation, the major occupation of man for which we have not yet developed tools that make an average person capable of confidence and performance. In teaching, we, we, we rely on the naturals, the ones who somehow know how to teach. You're a natural, and a big part of that is the desire to be with someone else where they at in their thinking, and to understand that enough to bring them along. Education is, the root of the word has to do with bringing someone along the path to enlightenment. I watched that happen, it was like watching the sunrise with some of those students when you were sharing your love with Gatsby, and that's it. So to have that conversation and to have the outcome be positive is a strong beginning. Now, as you get more confident and as you get more practice, that's where you're going to be able to kind of distance yourself from the adrenaline rush and yeah. kind of getting over that, you know, like... <laughs> a little stump. And, yeah. and also remembering all... Because you would walk up there with notes and yeah. that was great preparation, but you really wanted to pack everything in and not deviate from that. It's kind of like music where once you get the basic chord progressions... Mm -hmm and you play scales, then when you're with people in the moment, you can improvise. And that's really the magic of thinking out loud because then things change. And when people change and their minds change, they accelerate and amplify their learning. And that's when you go from teaching, you know, I've read and written a lot about this, but teaching as a science has to do with theory and, and how do we learn as mental models. Mm -hmm. Then you get into the craft, and this is what you're just starting now, and you practice teaching as a day-in, day-out thing that you work with and refine. And then something brilliant happens if you're lucky. And I'm working on this. I'm not quite there yet, but I'm, I'm trying. And that's when teaching becomes an art. And in the art, everything seems spontaneous, and to the untrained eye, it looks like it's, it's okay. just happening. Yeah. But all of these things go into that in a way that, you know, the great ones at anything make it look easy. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if it's baseball or classical music or whatever. Teaching is no different. So you now, in a way, kind of inverted the process because you started the craft before you really mastered the theory. And I think what we're doing is important because by getting that practice, you're coming to an understanding of where you feel strong and where you may need to learn more mm -hmm. in content and thinking about how people think. Um, and that's really the process. And because you want to do it, you're going to be good at it. It's just a question of, how much effort you getting enough practice with the craft to feel how that trial and error informs the decisions that you make and the learner's experience. Well, thank you so much for that. You're welcome. Yeah. And then, did you get a pause? Yeah. Oh, where's my, where's my button? <laughs> okay.